hurry up, hurry up, hurry, hurry up. Hello my Kako Kulele friends and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Once again, if you haven't been here before, we tackle a book called the Himeli Aloha book. I'll post it right here and I'll go ahead and include links below on where you can purchase the book. And basically it's a, a kind of like a fake book in the jazz world, but it's a collection of favorite and classic and traditional Hawaiian songs that we love, that we've grown up with. But the only thing that it doesn't have is it doesn't have any notation to let you know how the song goes. So that's why I've been recording these videos to basically tackle a new Hawaiian song each week for those of you who want to learn Hawaiian music. This week is no exception. We are playing another one of my favorites, uh, a song called Aloha Kamanini. I thought we would do something a little different and instead of using my Kanilea ukulele that I usually use, my custom Kanilea tenor, I thought we'd try my Tutu's concert vintage ukulele. It's about 50 years old. And uh, it has this, the difference between this one and mine is it has a high G and it's a little bit of a, um, a higher tone overall. So for those of you who play a high G instrument, I thought it'd be nice to, to try something different this week. And I just love playing this. this. This was my tutus and this is the one that basically growing up back home in Hawaii, this was the instrument that, that attracted me to the ukulele and wanted me, got me interested in ukulele and kind of uh, the one I gravitate, gravitated to. And I'm so uh, honored to have it uh, in, my, in my collection now. And anytime I, I, I get a chance to play it, I, um, I always uh, take the opportunity. So let's go ahead and dive right into this week's lesson, Aloha Kamanini. It's in the key of F and some pretty basic chords in this one. We're going to have F, F7. Uh, we have that B flat chord that nobody likes. G7. And then we also have a C7 chord. It's so pretty basic. And I thought this week we would kind of mix it up. I know this song sometimes um, would use this this uh, strum, which is uh, the one we've, we've tackled actually in some past episodes, which is the classic strum. But I thought this week we we kind of mix it up and we try to um, we try to use the uh, island strum on this arrangement, which we we just started using in the last couple of episodes. And the island strum is basically down, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. A very kind of uh, relaxing, chill strum. And a very versatile strum. So down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And I'll go ahead and, and place that pattern down below too so you guys can follow along. For those of you here for the first time, what we do is we go ahead and we go over each of the verses. I say the verse for you so that you can follow along in Hawaiian and I also list it down below and then we go ahead and we try the verse uh, one pass each each time through. This this song has um, just all verses, no cho no chorus uh, like some of the other songs we've been we've been tackling in the past. So the first verse goes Aloha Kamanini Meka Po Polo and remember in past episodes, we have the kahako, which is a, um, a macron over the vowel, which basically elongates the vowel. And in this case, in the first verse, is po polo, okay? And then coming up, we have the okina. And the okina is just like a glottal stop right before the vowel. Uh, it looks like an upside down apostrophe, if you haven't seen it before. And that just basically means you have to place a little bit more emphasis or accent on that vowel, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and try that first verse. Here we go. Good job. Let's go ahead and go to the second verse. Second verse is kala ka nenue o kanaha vele o kanaha vele moani ke ala ke honiaku. Okay. And remember, if you don't see that okina, don't place that emphasis on the vowel. Okay. Make it kind of glide into that vowel. Um, honiaku, honiaku, not honiaku. Okay. Kala ka nenue. Alright, 
right, let's go to the third verse. Third verse is Ahole, Ahole i a, Pico liha liha. Poi uala kaohi pu'u. This is a hard one. It's a hard verse. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. the very last verse which is Haina and if you've followed uh, any of my other videos before you know that Haina is the very last verse usually kind of sums up the entire song into uh, into that last verse and if you um if you notice the second line of this last section this last verse it's actually the very first line of the entire song so basically like a little sandwich you know the very first line and the very last line are the exact same line let's tackle this last verse Haina iamai Anakapuana. Okay, that's it. those of you um, who've seen my videos before, you know that. Sounds familiar. Aloha Kambanini me polo. Okay, same as the very first uh, very first verse. This ukulele, by the way, it has a kind of a brighter, lighter sound uh, compared to my my tenor, right? Uh, it's different. It's different sounding, and I wanted to um, kind of make sure we include the high G people out there in in this uh, in this series. Okay, so now we made it through all of the verses one by one. Let's go ahead and do the whole thing all the way through, no stopping. There's some tricky parts in here, so so if you can't uh, if you can't follow along at the speed we're going, just go ahead and you know slow it down a little bit and um until you can catch up to the speed that we're going now and you know there really is no right or wrong speed it, whatever feels comfortable to you go ahead and stick with that speed okay <laughs>
guys. And you know what? We didn't really talk about how we we're going to end it. And so we just came up with just uh, kind of like a peter out kind of ending. <laughs> but if you know, if you want to end it in a more dynamic kind of a way, we can do something like... brings us to the end of another episode thank you guys so much for coming back and joining me every week once again you can go to www.stevenespanola.com to find out more information about myself where i'm playing next uh if i'm uh, playing an ukulele festival near you you know don't be afraid to comment down below if you guys uh, have a request for an upcoming song or if you uh, have any comments or suggestions on on what i'm doing you know i can always learn from what you guys uh, comment down below i do read every single comment and I try to com uh, I try to reply to every single comment that you guys post down below. And so don't be afraid to write down below. I'll try to get back to you. Ahui ho malama pono, and I'll see you guys next time.